Good morning, friends. Welcome back to our classroom. I'm excited to have you guys back, with, back here with me this morning. Before we get started on what we're doing today, let me give you a quick recap of what we worked on on Monday. So Monday, we worked with the digraph. Remember? Yes, we went swimming with the whales. Well, with the digraph, we understood that we can find different ways in order to know how to make the sound. We use strategies and we use our listening ears to hear those sounds. Now remember friends, on Monday we learned a few strategies, didn't we? Yes, we learned that the digraph is represented by the letters, the letters W-H. Remember our exercise? Let's try it. W-H, 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 perfect. We also learned another trick, didn't we? Remember our two fingers? Yes. Remember that in order for us to understand that the digraph makes a different sound than the singular letter sound W, which is we have to understand of how our burst of air is made. So we were able to differ those sounds. Now remember on Monday, we learned how to put our fingers up to our mouths and to say a word. If we feel a stronger burst of air, that lets us know that it is the sound but if we feel a lower burst of air, very weak burst of air, we know it's just a singular letter sound for W, which is W. Let's test it out. We're gonna say the word whale. Let's try it three times. Whale, whale, whale. Feel the stronger burst of air? So do I. If we say a word that has the singular letter sound for W, let's try that. Let's try the word well. Well, well, well. Did you feel that? Yes, it was a very weak burst of air. Well, as in W-E-L-L -L for the singular letter sound well, makes a weaker burst stand for the digraph in the word well. In order for us to connect our sounds and our letters to our spelling, that's something important for us to know in order to differ and to understand. Well, today, friends, we're going to pick right back up on that. And I'm going to need you to use your strategies that you learned on Monday using your two fingers. And also, don't forget, you can also place your hands here on your vocal cords. See, right now as I'm talking, I feel a vibration. That lets me know that every single sound that I'm making right now is voiced. That means I'm feeling it come through my vocal cords and it's injecting it, causing response and volume. But when I see the digraph, the sound, my vocal cords, they don't vibrate. If you place your hands here and you try it, no vibration near friends. Good job. So today we're gonna keep going and we're gonna get started with our bingo today. For our bingo, we're gonna have to play our game. For our game of bingo, we're gonna work on listening to our sounds. That's important. We're going to actually go through, stretch the words, spell the words. So get a piece of pencil, paper, or whatever you have near you, grab it, because you're gonna need it today. Ready? Let's get started. Friends, you know with bingo, one of my favorite games, you can go across, down, or diagonal. Those are all different ways for you to do it. But we've also learned some different ways, right? We know that we can spell those words completely and get them done faster. Let's try our first word. The first word we're going to look for in our bingo card is the word wisp, wisp. Say the word, very good. Say all the sounds you hear in the word. Wisp, wisp, good. Let's take it, segment those sounds. Isp, wisp, very good. Again, try it. Isp, wisp, very good. Start with the very first letter sound that you hear. And I'm going to start here as well. I hear the first sound I hear in wisp is the sound. That tells me those are the letters W, H. Very good. Keep going. I. Very good. What vowel is making that short vowel sound? I. Absolutely the letter I. Let's keep going, friends. I. Ooh, yes, absolutely the letter S. Keep going. I, S, P. 
wisp. What letter is making the final sound we hear in the word wisp? Yes, the letter P. Wow, you all are wonderful. Here's our word wisp, and I hope you have it on your paper too. I want you to look up here in our bingo card. Can you find the word wisp? Wisp? <gasps> yes, I see it too. It's right here. So I'm going to place this one here to cover up our word. Let's see, friends. Let's keep going and see can we get our bingo. Remember, if we do, that lets us know that we're able and we can spell words that have to digraph. Let's keep going. Friends, now we're going to look at our next word. Our next word is going to be the word while. While. Repeat the word. Very good. Almost like our sentence, my mom was taking a while. While. Very good, friends. While. Take the word. Remember our strategy. We always stretch before we isolate. While. 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 Very good. Listen to those sounds. Now you know what to do. Tap those sounds or you can follow me with your fingers. Hmm, what letter or letters is making this sound? Yes, the letters W-H. Absolutely. Keep going. I don't want you to stop. Keep going. I. I'm hearing a long vowel sound. Are you? Me too. I, oh, oh, oh. Hmm, what letter is making the O oh sound? L, very good. Now, we're not quite done with this word, are we, friends? Absolutely not. Because I hear a long vowel sound, I, in the word while. Remember, we know that magic E is closely at the end. Remember, it gives the vowel the strength to say its name. So I'm going to add our E here because I hear while. I hear a long vowel sound as well. I know I need to add my magic E right here. Perfect job, friends. Can you somehow help us find the word while on our bingo card? Yes, yes, absolutely. It's the very first word that we see here. So I'm gonna place our chip right here at the top, while. And remember, you can always match it by looking at what's on your paper. While, while, perfect work, friends. Whoa, looks like we're getting close. Let's see if we can keep going. Now, some of the words we have, remember, we're learning about the digraph and we're understanding the differing of sound. Now, some of the words we have may not have the digraph, but it's going to be you to determine those sounds for me, be able to spell them fluently and connect those sounds to the letter or letters with our digraph. Let's try another one, friends. This time, let's look at the word when. When. Can you say the word when? Very good, everyone. Take the word, stretch it. When. When. Very good. When. Let's take it. Use your fingers. Go through. Segment and isolate those sounds. And when. Very good. I'm doing it with you. Follow me. Eh, mm, when. Very good. Let's start with the very first sound we hear in when. Let's see, can I feel that stronger burst of air? I need to understand if that's just W or if that's the digraph. When, when, when. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that strong burst of air. When. So I know that is going to be the digraph, W-H. Can we keep going? Absolutely. Spell it on your paper. Eh. When? Very good. Eh. Mm. When? Mm -mm. Yes, the letter N. Wonderful job, friends. Great job. So now we have to match what we just spelled together on our paper here on our bingo card. Now remember when, when we say it, sounds a bit different sometimes. Sometimes we say the word when, it can also sound like an I is in the place of the E. We change out those vowels by the sounds that we hear. 
So pay very close attention as you enunciate because that's what we're working on, hearing those sounds and connecting them to those letters. So you're actually, you're saying the word throughout its entirety and you're really listening closely to what you're saying. So we're looking for the word when. Can you help me find it? Hmm, I know this can't be the word when. When, the sounds and the letters do not match up. I know this isn't the word when. When, doesn't match up here either. Hmm, <gasps> what about here? When, when, absolutely friends, absolutely. Great job, I'm gonna place it right here. Whoa, okay, we're getting a bit closer to what we are goal is, is to get our bingo. Looking through words that have the diagraph. Now remember, that's gonna be important for us to connect those sounds. So far, you've spelled quite a few words. We've spelled the word wisp, while, and when. All that have the sounds for the diagraph. Now for this next one, I'm gonna put your strategy to the test. Yes, think you can do it? Show me. This time we have the word on our list is the word with, with. Repeat the word. Me and my mom go with you, with, with. Now you may remember that word because it is one of our kindergarten sight words, but I want you to listen very closely to those sounds. With has a digraph, but it may not have the digraph that we're looking for today. Say the word. See if you feel a strong burst of air against your fingers. We're gonna say the word with, 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 hmm. with, with. Hmm. I don't feel a strong burst of air and I feel vibration as I'm saying the sound. That lets me know that is the singular letter sound for W. Let's go through, stretch the word with, with, again, with, again, with. Very good, go through, segment those sounds. We want to isolate each and every single individual sound. W, I, th, with. Very good, go through, listen to those sounds. Start with your very first sound, w. Yes, the letter W, very good. Great job, friends. You all did not let that sound throw you for confusion at all. You were able to grab it and to understand that right now for with, the first sound we hear is the w the singular letter sound for the letter W, w. but not the sound for our digraph. W. Very good, write that on your paper, keep going. W. E. Very good friends, w. E. with. Very good, now the ending sound, w. E. Th. 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 Hmm, that sounds like a digraph we've learned. Sounds like the diagraph we learned about that has a lot of teeth. Yes, the diagraph T, absolutely the diagraph, which is represented by the letters T, H, with, with. Very good. Wonderful job of hearing those sounds, friends. Now we're gonna go through, let's see if I can find it on here. And what I'm going to do is just move one of our chips down just ever so slightly so we can see all of our words. Can you find the match for our word with on our bingo card? Hmm, let's see, will this be the word with? No, I hear you going, no. What about this word? With, with. Hmm. I'm, saying the I'm saying the word, I'm hearing the sounds, but the sounds and the connection to the letters are not matching up for me here. Can you find another one? With? I know where you're going. You're thinking right here, W-I-T-H, absolutely. Just as you spelled it on your paper, just as you're watching here, with. So I'm gonna place our bingo card here. So far, that's four chips that are covering up our words. Remember, we need a complete row down to get all of our bingo. Do you think you can help me complete it? Yes, now remember, even if we pull a word that doesn't quite fit with our bingo, that's okay, right? Absolutely. 
because we're still learning how to go through and to spell the words that have the digraph. Let's see if we can spell a word before we get to our ending piece of bingo. All right, friends, so our next word we're pulling out is going to be the word with. With. Listen very closely. With. With. Very good. Look, I have a whiff of something good in the air. Ooh, whiff. Say the word, with. <clears throat> Take it, stretch it. With. Good, again, with. Very good. Go through those sounds. I want you to tap each individual sound. <sighs> if. With. Very good. Again, w. If. With. Very good, friends. Start with the first sound you hear. Begin writing with, with. The first sound I hear, absolutely strong burst of air. I know that it's a digraph. Very good. And that is made by which letters? Represented by the letters W, H. Keep going. Eh. Oh, here's that short vowel sound again. I, very good. Keep going. I, f, f. Yes, the letter F, absolutely. Now, with the word with, you may have it spelled this way, with just one F at the end. Now, remember, a few weeks ago, we've talked about our floss rule, right? We know at the end of a one-syllable word after a short vowel, like I, we add a double consonant. And remember, that's just something you're gonna put into your strategy belt because you're gonna need to pull that out for first grade. But if you didn't have it spelled with two Fs, that is fine, friends, if you just had one. Very good, that's with, let's try another one. This time, let's try the word will. Will, say the word will. Very good, will. I want you to really get used to those sounds. See, can you feel a stronger burst of air? Will. Will. Mm. Very light burst of air. Let's see if I feel a vibration. Will. Will. I do. That lets me know that it's the singular letter sound, absolutely, for the letter W. W. Very good, friends. Keep going. W. I. Yes, the letter I. Very good. Can you just keep going? W, I, O, O. Yes, yes, the letter L. Now, if you have it spelled this way, the same rule applies. Absolutely, we're going to double the consonant at the end. Will, will. Can you find the word will here in our bingo card? Oh, where, here? Will. No. How about here? Will. Not there either? Hmm. We need to make sure that we're matching up the sounds to our letters. So let's look here. Oh, will. Very good, friends. You guys have worked to distinguish those sounds, and I'm going to place our final chip here. Yes, bingo! Awesome job, you got it! Absolutely, we have went all the way down on our cart. Great job, friends. And let's look at all the words that you guys have so far. We're gonna look at the words that we haven't had a chance to spell. You can repeat after me, or you can go through and sound them out as I go through and point to each one, okay? Whip, with, whale. Good job, repeat. White, good. Whim, which, whimp, good, repeat, wall, whelk, whisk, wind, wheat, what, will, why, good, were, whine, where, and whole. Great job, everyone, going through those words and listening to those sounds, especially for the digraph. That's important for us to know. You guys have done 
a wonderful and fantastic job. So let's go ahead and quickly get ready to wrap up. Now friends, remember, throughout this week, we have learned about different digraphs and we've learned, especially this week, about the digraph. Now, all the last few weeks, we've learned about different ones, haven't we? And we've applied those strategies to spelling and to our reading, to place it in our toolbox, just as good readers do. Well, as we finish, you'll see that we also are able to connect those to our spelling. You were able to do that today. Listening to those sounds and being able to distinguish the digraph sound from the singular letter sound we learned at the beginning of kindergarten, because those are easy to get mixed up, aren't they? Yes, but sometimes we have to go in and we have to tell our brain, hey, there's a new sound in town and you gotta get used to it. And that's exactly what you all did today. Here on our poster board, we have a few pictures and we're gonna go through, look at those pictures and we're gonna look at those sounds. So I want you to finish off this lesson very strong. Go through, hold up your two fingers, feel your stronger burst of air, and I want you to really get used to the sounds that we're hearing for the digraph. Quail. Yes. This is a picture of a wheel. Very good. Wheel. Whisk. Wonderful. Wheat. Whirl. Whistle. Very good, you did it. You are ready to go swimming with the whales. Friends, you all have worked wonderful today. Such a great job and you've worked hard. But remember, continue to practice on your digraphs all this week. Whether you're drawing pictures of some familiar pictures that we can see that have the digraph like whisk, wheel, or whale, or if you're just spelling silly words that have the digraph, go through friends and look at those words closely, connect those sounds. You all have done a wonderful job. I'm excited for next week because we're gonna be able to review all of this. And it's gonna be a special surprise because we have went through the entire journey of learning about digraphs. And you guys have taken all of this in and applied it to what you know now. Great job, everyone. I will see you bright and early on Monday morning. Have a great weekend.